Thanks, Josh. You only have a few more days to help Valiant Cross win $100,000. Valiant Cross is one of only 33 schools across the country to be selected for the YAS Prize, known as the Pulitzer of Education Innovation. Kimberly Baker, Director of Development and Marketing at the school, joins us now. This is a big deal, Kimberly. It really is. We um, applied for this award in July. And we've, you know, been able to go to the 64 from 1900 educational institutions. And now we're at 33 and we're hoping to be, you know, the million dollar winner in the end. But in the meantime, you know, we've got the Parents' Choice Award, which is an additional $100,000 that we can win. What is the Parents' Choice Award? So it is an additional prize that the Yaz um, program has put in and it's strictly a voting contest. And so they're asking communities, our state, state, you know, businesses, everyone to rally around us and is simply just vote for us and whoever has the most votes in the end comes comes up with the hundred thousand dollars. How do you vote? So you can go to valiantcross.org and there's a big pop-up that will come and you just click on the pop-up and you do need to register, but you only need to register one time and once you register, you can vote for us daily until the 25th. So this is kind of like we're, we're in the finish line. So we've been in the voting process now for about a month and we found out a couple weeks ago that we were in second place and we certainly, you know, that would be, that would be painful if we came in second. It's great of the 33, but we we really want to we really want to come up on top we need so. everyone to vote every day yeah get you in first every place. day till the 25th so that's Saturday so we only have a few days left that, so. that is the Saturday so yes. it's coming up it's coming up. Iron Bowl yes. Saturday that's an easy way to yes. remember that is the <laughs> yes that's so the last vote day. while you're at the game if you, if you need to yes <laughs> and tell everybody sitting around you in the stands I, and I will if anyone that knows me knows that I will I will make sure that everyone around me knows what they're doing and, and make sure that they vote for us you're very yes. passionate about this school. I, why I is that am. you know I have been at the school for this is my eighth year which is is hard to believe and I met the Brock brothers um, before they opened the school and when they were telling me a little bit about it I knew that this was going to be a diamond in in our for our community in our community um, it has served so many young men well and the great part about being at the school for so long is I've actually been able to see them from the sixth grade grow and, and evolve into young men in the twelfth grade and have seen them, you know, their dreams come true, essentially. Many of them have gone on to colleges and institutions of universities and um, many have gone to the military, many have gone into the workforce, so it's, it's, a, proven, it's a proven formula. The children have such pride in their school. They we do. We had a student in here yesterday, and we have this live camera that shows Dexter Avenue, and he pointed, he said, that is my school. Oh, that's so great. And, and you know, the story of how we ended up on Dexter Avenue is, you know, we're, we're in this beautiful church that the United Methodist Conference had donated to us, and they really wanted to see something happen beautiful with that building. And we've been in it now for since um, the beginning, but now we've owned it now for about a year and a half, and, and we've really grown into it and made it. Keeping the history of the building, you know, of course, being on Dexter Avenue, we want to keep it with with the, the time of the of Dexter and all the history, but we're making it into an innovative institution for sure. What would that extra $100,000 mean to the school? Well, what um, the Brock brothers want to do, and I think what the community wants us to do, is they really want us to expand. The issue um, that we have is always space, and we can't take every student that applies. And I know that that is painful um, for the Brock brothers, it's painful for our staff, it's certainly painful for me to turn a child away. And this additional money that we've been pursuing with the Yaz Prize is to expand the school um, to start a pre-K and then close the gap um, to the fifth grade, you know, because we start at six. So it's so needed. We, we know that the community wants us to be in that, that position and we just need the resources to do it. Every child deserves a chance to succeed and they live sure his or her best life. Remind us how we can vote. So go to valiantcross.org and just See, you'll see the pop up and and go ahead and vote for Van Cross and vote for us every day until the 25th. And we're so appreciative, by the way, for WSFA and for the community and for everyone that has rallied around us so far to get us to second place. And we don't really even know where we are right now, but we're hoping that we've been able to um, make that that you know mark up to first place. We support 
this project, we support our children, we support our future. It's a better community for all of us. Kimberly, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us.